We know your typical issues is kind of the hands moving out towards the ball in transition. Yep. Shaft is kind of steep. You can imagine like a little fish hook okay. like this. or like, That's 100, right? Yep. And you can, the last thing, you didn't feel this crazy, right? No. People are going to laugh at me for like saying this. <laughs> Anyways, imagine like a block, a stone. Yeah. And you're trying to make a statue. What's up, guys? It's your favorite QB coach. And give me six months of your time, and I'll give you the best golf swing of your life. Whoa. So welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we have another collaboration slash lesson. It's gonna be with Shogo this time. So Shogo, why don't you introduce yourself to the audience and then from there we'll get into the video. Thank you. Uh, konnichiwa, eh, Shogo to moshimasu. えっと、今はアメリカの大学に在学中で日本にいる時にゴルフをやっています。えっと、大きな悩みとしてはスライスであったり、ダウンスイングでシャフトがスティープに来てしまうところが悩みです。まあ、そこを気を強調しよう。えー、直していけたらなと思ってます。よろしくお願いします。Okay, you've already kind of hit a few shots. You're sort of warmed up. Yep. So go ahead and get a swing. I'll get your initial swing for the day. Okay. We'll go ahead and analyze it, and then while we're analyzing, you can also kind of give you the breakdown of okay. Recently, I know I was trying to fix this, but this is coming up. I'm struggling yep. with this, all that good stuff. Got it. All right, let's do it. All right, and Chugga wanted everyone to know, he doesn't play that much golf anymore. No. <laughs> Slightly retired. Only in the summer. Slightly retired, just in <laughs> case people are wondering. But that's a good swing, that's a good swing. For someone, what do you play? Maybe like 10 times, 10 times a year at this point? No, I Maybe actually play a lot of like golf when I'm back home, but not like when I'm in the States, so. That's the issue, because I forget Great. everything every time I come come back home, so I have to start from zero. Start from fresh. <laughs> so let, let, let's go over the analysis. While we're kind of doing this, Shoga, walk me through. We know your typical issues is kind of the hands moving out towards the ball in transition. Yep. Shaft is kind of steep. Mm -hmm. So walk me through when you've been practicing, kind of what are the issues when you're trying to fix this motion? Um, so... I try to, so one of the things is that in my downswing, shaft gets too steep. So how I've been trying to fix that is by trying to just relax. Um, that's the biggest thing. Um, I think it has gotten a little bit better, uh, but still when I try to swing harder. Um, you sort of speed up. Yep. That's the issue. How can mm -hmm. I relax and speed up? So I think when, when it comes to kind of shaft pitch mm -hmm. specifically, mm -hmm. a lot of people say that too. If they relax, what ends up happening is kind of the twisting that they put on the club shaft kind mm, of yep. minimizes. Yeah. But then the issue is there's no power. Yeah. So then when you speed up, just like you said, mm -hmm. you start to twist again. And it's really just putting a Band-Aid on the initial issue. Okay. Whereas if you learn how to twist correctly, mm -hmm. you can actually now add power to that correct twisting mm. motion. And then you can kind of get the correct shaft position while swinging fast and getting all that. So okay. we can kind of go over that today. Okay. So let's, let's take a look here. Okay. So going over checkpoints, so you, we went over this last time. Position five, mm -hmm. shaft we want to see right around like 35 degrees to 40, so you're at 26. Mm -hmm. Better than, much better than last time, but still not, <laughs> still not where it needs to be. Hand positioning actually is, is quite well positioned here. So you're kind of positioned by the shoulder mm -hmm. before you're almost positioned by your left arm at this okay. point. So that's, that's very much quieted down in terms okay. of the outward movement. As we continue to move forward, this is kind of what you're currently probably seeing if you film your swing. Mm -hmm. You knew the checkpoint before, we wanted to kind of see it towards the top of the forearm right mm -hmm. now. It's yep. Middle, not so crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had players over here, right? Close to 90 degrees. Really? Yeah, so this is not so crazy. You're actually more so on a cutter model here. Okay. But if we wanted to be, let's say, neutral, mm -hmm. we'd want to have the shaft a little bit more here. Okay. And then as we come down, as you start to come into the golf ball, I think what happens as you come in, the handle starts to kind of raise. Mm -hmm. and, and the chicken wing. And chicken wing, yeah. Yep. So you're basically, you can feel yourself kind of coming um, basically on top and left. Mm -hmm. You feel like you might potentially miss the ball or your body kind of subconsciously knows it's coming in quite steep. Mm -hmm. So then you try to reroute it at the last second. Yep. So that whole movement I feel like has been very much minimized. Yeah. The degree of shift, but we just got to keep pushing forward. Okay. Forward. So let, I think the first place we can start with with you, Shogo, today. Yeah. Let's just get straight into uh, the transition and talk about how to twist the shaft correctly so that you can add speed and not worry about having it actually steepen. Okay. That'll be the first part. Then from there, we'll work on the second part, which is kind of this position, half, like let's call this P6 into the ball, how to not raise the handle and how to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Those will be the two points of interest. Okay. Great. Right. Questions so far? 
Uh, no. Good. Alright, this will be easy. Easy. <laughs> it's not Hopefully. easy. It's not easy. Okay. So today, unfortunately, we were cheaped out. It's McDonald's the sponsor today. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have time to go to Starbucks? <laughs> Starbucks, you're slacking. You didn't sponsor me after last video. What's going on? <laughs> okay, so let's go over um, what we're talking about. So when it comes to the twisting motion, yep. it's really kind of the direction that you move the grip in. Mm -hmm. So if I move the grip in kind of in this direction here, mm -hmm. as you can quite see, clearly see, mm -hmm. that'll get the shaft to go more vertical. Mm -hmm. If I start to move maybe almost this way, that would get the shaft to go the opposite way. Mm -hmm. So if you can imagine at the top of the swing, imagine that as you start to come down, imagine kind of like an arrow coming from the grip and wherever it kind of moves towards, wherever it kind of curves towards, that's going to get the shaft to kind of move different ways. Okay. So that's what we got to control. Okay. Because if you can get the shaft, let's say, to move a little bit more this way, mm -hmm. and you start to speed up, because the direction is in the right direction and you're speeding up, you're not going to get the shaft to steepen. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So then from there, you can feel like you can swing fast while still having the shaft in a good spot. And then from there, it's easier for you to feel like you can go a little bit lower and left with the fall so okay. and not feel so much this way as you yep. go through the ball. Yeah. That's okay. that. If I, let's say, had an arrow that looks something similar to this, okay. let's call this how much wise, like really close to 100%. Mm -hmm. like that would be as much as I could do this motion. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, the shaft would be incredibly flat. Mm -hmm. And then from here, if let's say the arrow is just kind of like a diagonal, mm -hmm. maybe that's close to kind of zero, right? Because mm -hmm. there's going to be no twisting in that yep. sense. And then obviously, if I start to go the opposite way, crazy, that would be 100% on the opposite yeah. side. So. What do we always do for the initial guess? As he, he's been he's been watching our videos, he should know this. This is a test, guys. You the, guys should know at the home. correct movement that I should take, or the correct feeling. Feeling. Yeah. So we we know your current stock swing produces a little bit of a steepening yep. move. Oh, okay. So, so what should we feel? Complete opposite. Yeah. And like exaggerate that, and yeah. that's how you should feel it. But in real. You're not doing nearly as much as exactly. you feel like doing. So the, the first test we always call it, yeah. or the first guess is we always try to go something close to 100%. Okay. And then we'll see what actually happens in the real swing. Okay. Like some people, they feel like they're going like this. You watch their swing and the shaft kind of just lowers and then starts to pitch out towards the ball perfectly. Okay. So even though they felt like they're like this, the shaft is in a normal spot. Maybe for you, you do it and we actually do get way too flat. Mm -hmm. So then the next guess, we wouldn't do 100%. We'd okay. probably change it up. Okay. But the first guess, when you're on the driving range, just go all the way to the opposite side. Okay. It's so much quicker. Yep. Instead of trying to go little tiny changes. Yep. That's which true. is better for the course. Yep. That is Because you don't want to do something crazy like mm -hmm. that on the course. But when you're on the range, no, you know, nothing is bad is going to happen. Yeah. That's Maybe true. you hit that net over there. <laughs> <laughs> that's the worst thing, right? Okay. So. Okay. <laughs> like almost. Yeah, exactly. Imagine, we, we call it um, on our videos like a fish hook. Okay. If you can imagine like a little fish hook okay. like this, or like a, almost like an American U. Mm -hmm. Try to get it, as you, soon as you get towards the top and you start to come down, allow the grip to go down a little bit first, and then start to go into a massive U motion. Okay. If you actually do it in the reel, the ball should go pretty far right. It would not be what we want to do. There you go. Wow. So we're gonna try that, okay. and we're gonna see what actually happens. Okay. <laughs> it literally looked like Tiger was like trying to slice the ball. Yeah, your fall through <laughs> definitely looked that way. So now, and this is something we always talk to our clients, it's like, think about the swing when you change one thing. Yeah. Let's say, you ch especially in the transition, the follow through area typically also needs to change. Yeah. What ends up happening first changing that thing yeah. is you don't have the mental capacity to also change the follow through as well. That is true. Yep. So that's why you start to feel like really weird on the mm -hmm. follow through and the ball starts to go all crazy spots. Yeah. That's normal. Mm -hmm. But what we're looking for okay. is we're just looking for the first part that we discussed in this today's mm -hmm. lesson to change. Okay. And then from there, if that changes, then we can start to work on the second part later. Okay. And then you kind of get the whole package. Yep. That's okay. Yeah. Don't worry. So let's see if that <laughs> changed. So before we look, I always like to ask the question, did you feel like it was really crazy, hacky percent? 
Yeah, I did it hook. as much as possible. That was as best as I could. All right, let's take a look bad. at the reel, guys. All right, that's it for you guys on YouTube. But before you guys cook off, we have some quick wrap-up points from Shogo himself. Shogo. エンターテイナーディアンス。そうですね。えっと、今回はえっとダウンスイングでスティープに来てしまうっていう悩みとえっとスティンガーショットの打ち方について学びました。えっとスティープに来てしまうっていうことに関しては大げさに逆のモー